Okay, what's up YouTube? You know what it is, Patreon Crypto again. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, remember to share, remember to subscribe. This is something that's bothered me for a bit. And I wanted I decided I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Now this is my third reality motion sensor, and I also have uh, a third reality um smart hub, right? So this is the matter um uh, uh smart hub right third reality smart hub right i got i got this in a uh i got these both from amazon i got them in a bundle right um and this was very confusing on how to set this up now obviously you can see you know i do have three lights here what you want to do right when you're setting this up for the first time you setting up your motion sensor for the first time you know it's not really explained properly so i guess i'm gonna do a video about it but essentially what you want to do if you want to set this up with alexa because a lot of people most people want to use this with alexa right so um i'm not talking to you alexa yeah so okay <laughs> anyways sorry about that so pretty much um i'm gonna show you the steps now i hope you can see my phone but i'm gonna see if i can pretty much show you what you need to do um so you want to go first first you want to go to your alexa app so let me just get out of this right yeah let me just get out of this you want to go to your alexa app right and then you want to press plus the plus sign up here and you want to go to device right now you want to scroll down i hope you guys are seeing this so you want to scroll down to motion sensor, right? Then you want to scroll down to other. Then you want to click matter, right? Now it's going to ask you, does your device have a matter logo? Now there is a logo here. Um, not sure if you're able to see this, but essentially, right? There is a QR code here that you need to scan, right? Okay, so that's plugged out, right? So plug in. That's the only the only problem with this device, though. If I was going to give it a review, you know, there's definitely something wrong with the USB-C port. Um, it keeps plugging out. You know, it's really annoying. Um, but, yeah, that, it just keeps plugging out constantly. But, um, you know, so if it does, which it does, right, you want to scan that QR code, right? So I'm going to go ahead and scan the code, right? Now it's going to look for my device, right? It's gonna look for my device, look for the device, try to make the connection, right? Um, as you can see right here, right? Um, now it's you, you're basically connecting this device to your Alexa. That's what's happening right now. You're going through and you're connecting this um so you wanna say no. Okay, so basically, I'm not able to connect now. It's already connected to my Alexa, but essentially, you want to go through that process to connect it to Alexa. So you want to connect this to Alexa first. So you want to actually, I didn't, I forgot to mention something. In order for this to even be in pairing mode, for you to connect it to Alexa, you first have to, um, you first have to go ahead and put this in the little pinhole right here get a look get a pin or something like this a small um device right here and you wanna um my camera is really messing up right now but um you want to get like a little small device like this i hope you guys can see this um not i'm not really focusing but you want to get like a little small device like this right and then you want to essentially put it in this little pinhole you know to reset it right and put it into pairing mode you hold it for like six seconds once you reset it right then you go through that process that i just showed you to connect this first to your alexa so you connect that first right after you connect that that's when you go ahead and hold this button right that's when you go ahead and hold this button right here and you hold it for a good minute so once this is connected and the light is steady all three lights are steady right then uh because that means when all three lights are steady that means it's connected to your alexa app 
right? It's connected to your Alexa. So once that happens, now you want to hold this for about uh, three seconds until you see a red light. Then it will switch to a blue, right? A blue blinking, blinking light, right? Once you do that, it will just automatically connect, right? So if you refresh your um, Alexa, um, actually no, it won't automatically connect. Actually no, you have to go to now your 3R app. So you want to install this app right here. I don't know if you can see that, but the name of the app is 3R Installer, right? You want to go ahead and install that 3R Installer. You want to go ahead and open that, right? Now, you want to essentially make sure that you add, so you want to add an accessory, right? And you just want to scan, right? You want to scan it here because it's already connected to the thing. So you scan the QR code or you can um, go to more options, right? And you can connect it. It, it will find it right there. So you, you either, um, uh, so you go here. Um, scan scan this right scan that and then oh wow it's plugged out my bad so it's, yeah you scan the QR code from here again and add it again to this so you know I you notice I have two of them added so I initially didn't follow this process I actually just I didn't add it to Alexa first I just added it to this app first you want to add it to Alexa first then you add it here Right, so you want to scan it again, scan the QR code from here, right? So you press that plus, um, you see the camera there, you scan that QR code into this, right? Now you're going to add it again, right? Now you're going to add it here, right? Now once it's added here, you want to go, let me go back, you want to go to this, right? You want to go here. Now you want, I hope you guys are seeing this, but you're going to be on this page essentially, right? then what you want to do you want to go bridge zigbee devices down at the bottom right it's going to search for the it's going to search for your motion um your motion detector is going to search because remember this is in pairing mode right now so it says, so see, it says motion sensor right you click continue you click complete actually so it's going to add it right and that's it. Now you have, see you have another device added. There's, I had five devices before, now I have six. So that's the new motion sensor. No sense. You can um, rename it to whatever you want, right? Right. You're gonna go back to your Alexa, right? You're gonna go back to your Alexa, and now you're gonna go to devices. You're gonna refresh that, and you're gonna see motion sensor. You're going to see that the motion sensor was recently added, right? You're going to see that motion sensor added to your Alexa, right? So this is not explained properly, um, you know, but there you have it. Your motion sensor is added. You could do your routine, stuff like that. But this is not explained properly, so I needed to do a video on this. So tell me what you guys think about this. I know I kind of spent a lot of time explaining this, but... It just makes more sense when you explain it like this. Some people don't understand from the videos that they have out there. It's not enough. So tell me what you guys think and have a great day. Page Crypto signing out. Peace.